Hi everyone, we are doing an unboxing video today of AZ100 mount by Roman Astronomy. It is an Altizimus mount and it is probably the best mount in the world in this category. It is uh, approximately 12 kilos and we'll just get right into it. So I unboxed all the parts and you will see them in a moment, uh, but I want to tell you why I'm doing this. Uh, I'm really excited about this mount because we worked with Roman Astronomy to choose encoders for this mount. And this mount has encoders with 152,000 steps per revolution. And considering that it is a fully CNC machine mount, you will get the best point and accuracy available in this class of mounts. So what we have here, we have uh, an azimuth shaft with a housing, we have altitude shaft with a housing, we have lozomandy type dovetail clamp, we have a dual lozomandy vixen dovetail clamp, we have two flexible slow motion control shafts and we have counterweight shaft, we have Nexus DSC shelf, the altitude shaft with the housing is attached to the azimuth shaft using M5 socket head screws. Both dovetail clamps are attached to the altitude shaft using M6 socket head screws. We need to set the encoder steps for this mount and the way we do it, we go to settings, then telescope, then you will see that the default number of steps is 10,000 and we need to change that. We need to change it to 152,000 and all we need to do is press the right arrow key and you will see the adjust button on the screen is flashing. We press the K key. We leave the type of the mount as alt azimuth. Then we need to use the arrow key and get to azimuth encoder steps and change that to 152,000. And the same for the altitude encoder steps, 152,000. Press OK and OK again. 
and OK again to save the new settings. Then we press Escape and we go just to make sure that everything is correct. We go to Test Encoders. Then we change the altitude up. And as you see, the number on the right is increasing. Then we need to rotate clockwise. And you see the number on the left is also increasing. And counterclockwise, it should be decreasing. If any of this is going in the opposite direction, then you need to go back and change the signs in front of the corresponding encoder steps. But for this mount and in this particular configuration, both of the encoder steps should have a positive sign, plus 152,000. In the following videos, we will look at how we use Nexus DC with this mount. You can purchase uh, the mount uh, directly from our own astronomy website or a deal near you. You have an option to buy mount alone or with Nexus DC and encoders. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video interesting. If you have any questions, you can email us directly or you can uh, leave a comment below.